Hi guys, welcome to Teamigate. Today I want to share with us on how we can enable IP version 6 IP address on MicroTik router and set up two MicroTik routers on an IP version 6 network and test across to see if we have connectivity. It's going to be exciting, it's going to be real quick and simple. Let's get it. So I have my Windows here and I have a MicroTik router already fired up, so I'm logging into it. So over here, you can see here, if I try to assign an IP version 6 address, there's no room for it, there's no provision for it. All I have is IP version 4. And if I should come over here and try to type an IP version 6 address, it's not going to work. db8, column 1, slash 64. It's flagging an error. That's why you see this in red. So this simply means that IP version 6 feature is not either, it's either not included or it is included but it's not enabled. So when you have a situation like this, simply click on system and go to packages and you should be able to see here that IP version 6 features, though included, it is not enabled. If it is not included, you go online and have it uh, downloaded, okay? But it is included, so I'm going to click on it and I'll click on enabled, okay? And then it's scheduled for the next reboot. So what I need to do at this point is to restart the router so that it will take effect on the next reboot. So to do that, you just click on system and click on reboot and this will reboot the router so when the router comes back on we're going to log in and have the feature set up so the router is back on we are just going to try to log back in again so we are back here on this router called router a if i should minimize the screen a little you will see this is router a the same router that we logged on to where we enabled ip version 6 earlier so you can see over here now IP version 6 features have been added. All these are all the features of IP version 6. So now we can just click on address and then add our address. Already it has an auto assigned IP address here, but that's not what we want to use. So I'm going to click on add and I'll add my IP version 6 address. Okay, and I will be assigning the IP to the ATA2 master interface and I'll save cost not advertised. Apply and OK. Don't worry if it is showing gray or whatever it is, don't worry about that. So it's been added. What I want to do now is to go over to the other end and then assign another IP version 6 IP address to the other end so we can test. So just hang it. So we are here on the remote router, which is router B. As you can see here, it is uh, called router B. So on router B, we already have IP version 6 features enabled. As you can see, it is here. So there's no need to go to system packages to enable it. If you go to system and if you come to packages, you will see that the IP version 6 features are already enabled. Look at it. So I'm just going to assign an IP address to an interface here that is connecting to router A. So I'll go to IP version 6 and click on address and click on this add sign and then I can assign my IP version 6 IP address. Of course, I'm going to choose the master interface. Once the IP has been assigned, the next thing we want to do is to test to the other end if we have connectivity. So I'm going to click on tools and I'll click on ping. And over here, I'm going to have my IPs typed 2001 column DB8 column column 1. That's the IP address on the IP. And as you can see, we have connectivity. Everything is working very well the way it should be. So, guys, that's how quick and easy it is for you to enable IP version 6 routing on, on MicroTik router and then assign addresses to interfaces. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos on MicroTig and Cisco and Ubiquiti. Also visit my blog at www.timigate.com for more on ITs. Thanks and stay safe.